this is your news source evening bulletin for today monday the 10th day of december in the year 2018. here's what we're tracking tonight the opposition people's progressive party is once again raising an issue about the prime minister's continued presence in the national assembly whenever he's performing the functions of president the PPP, through its chief whip in parliament, Gil Teixeira, wrote the Speaker of the Assembly today informing him of the party's concern and claiming that it might be unconstitutional. According to the PPP, when it was in office, when the then Prime Minister Samuel Hines was carrying out the functions of the office of the President, he was not allowed to attend a sitting or a committee meeting of the National Assembly. The PPP claims that there are records of this effect in the archives of the Parliament. Whoever is acting president or carrying out, sorry, carrying out the functions of the president cannot be here. And that is why Prime Minister Sam Hines was never here. He was never here. And if you check the Hansards and the minutes of the sittings, it will say, or it would have been announced when we begin the Parliament, Prime Minister is excused from this sitting because he's carrying out the functions of the president and that was upheld all the time. The party said since the beginning of the 11th parliament the opposition has noted that when the president is out of the jurisdiction that the prime minister Moses Nagamutu who is carrying out the functions of the office of the president attends sittings of the national assembly and committee meetings and votes. President David Granger is currently out of the country and the prime minister has been attending parliamentary sittings even as he continues to perform the functions of president. President. The Prime Minister has repeatedly said that as an elected member of the National Assembly, he has the right to be in the Assembly and he's just performing the functions of the President's office in the President's absence and not taking over the President's portfolio or his office. The issue is an especially important one as the government's majority in the National Assembly is only by one seat. The PPP has filed a motion of no confidence against the government that is likely to come up after the budget. The government has said it knows its side will use that majority and vote against the no confidence motion. The PPP is holding firm to its position that under the circumstances, while performing the functions of the office of the president, the prime minister's presence in the National Assembly violates the constitutional provisions referred to therein. The party has said if the speaker does not address the issue, it will approach the courts. More news coming up in just a moment. Get ready to ride it, ride it. Ready to ride it, ride it. Ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it. Ride it. Open up the new vibe. Drink up the bonus inside. Radical and fresh and wild. Catch the wave now. Ride bold, ride fresh, ride strong. Come on, ride the wave. Taste the action, satisfaction, perfection. of excitement sweeping Guyana. Wave Pale Ale, a premium, full-bodied, strong and refreshing alcoholic brew crafted to perfection for a bold, young, radical you. Don't settle for anything less. Catch a Wave Pale Ale and ride it today. Wave Pale Ale. Crafted to perfection. This Christmas, get a loan for your dream car with an extended repayment term. Spruce up your home with that renovation you always wanted and take advantage of low or no down payment. Get new appliances so you can cook up a storm. You'll get same day approval. Plus, you can win a getaway to a destination of your choice. Visit RepublicGuyana.com today to find out how. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Christmas big, plus size big, big things big, we gone big, yeah. It's GTT Christmas, Merry plus size Christmas. Christmas big, plus size big, big things big, we gone big, yeah. It's GTT Christmas, Merry plus size Christmas, yeah. We giving you, we giving you, yeah. We giving you, we giving you. It's GTT Christmas, Merry plus size Christmas, yeah. We giving you, we giving you, yeah. We giving you, we giving you. Ho, ho, ho! It's the GTT Plus Size Christmas. There's always more to love with GTT. Terms and conditions apply. See gtt.co.gy for details. Welcome back. After spending more than a month behind bars on remand on that attempted murder charge, socialite and businessman Imran Khan was granted bail by a high court judge. The businessman's attorney moved to the high court before Justice Sandel Kassoon last Friday and secured bail to the tune of $700,000. He's expected back in court later this month for the continuation of the attempted murder case against him. Khan was arrested and charged in early November following the severe beating of a disabled man, Romario Baljeet, outside the Pam Court night spot. 
The injured man has undergone surgery for a slash to his face and has been hospitalized on numerous occasions. The man's family has also complained through their attorney of efforts by relatives of Khan to get them to settle the matter out of court. The young man and his family have indicated repeatedly that they are not interested in any out-of-court settlement. Baljeet was allegedly attacked and beaten by Khan as he walked through a crowd of Khan and his friends outside the club. Surveillance videos show the man falling to the ground and being kicked and beaten even as he crawled away from the scene. Let's tell you now that opposition leader Barrett Jack Dio on Friday reaffirmed the support of the political opposition to the government in the case to settle the Guyana Venezuela border controversy. Mr. Jack Dio made the announcement at the start of his contribution to the 2019 budget debate. He stated that the opposition People's Progressive Party fully supports the efforts of the government and that there is no uncertainty in its position. We support all of his efforts and that of the government of Guyana in ensuring that our territorial integrity is preserved and there is no equivocation on our part where our national patrimony is concerned. This land belongs, all of it belongs to all of our people, regardless of our politics. Mr. Jagdeo went on to state further that their position is premised on the fact that Guyana belongs to every Guyanese citizen, regardless of their political affiliation. He said for that reason, the government will continue to have the support of the opposition in its efforts. Guyana recently filed its case with the International Court of Justice calling for a legal and binding recognition of the 1899 Arbitral Award, which established the geographic boundaries between the two South American countries. The Arbitral Award, which included the full participation of Venezuela, awarded the disputed territory as equivalent to the then British Guyana. Essequibo makes up approximately two-thirds of Guyana's geographic space. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reminded the media recently in a statement last month that Venezuela accepted the unanimous award, which was rendered by five eminent jurists back in 1899. U.S.-based carrier Eastern Airlines, which previously operated under the Dynamic brand, is in the final stages of being granted approval to begin a scheduled service between Georgetown and New York. Eastern is expected to initially begin its scheduled operations with one flight per week. In a notice published in the Sunday newspapers, the Guyana Civil Aviation Authority announced that a North Carolina-based airline is seeking a three-year license. In the notice, persons are being given a deadline of December 21 to voice any objections or make any representation for the airline's application. The airline has previously operated chartered services between Georgetown and New York. The announcement of Eastern Airlines' return to the Guyana market comes at the same time when major American carrier United Airways is eyeing the Guyana market. Officials of United Airways are expected in Guyana to begin talks with the government soon. Last month, American Airlines started its scheduled service between Georgetown and Miami. And that's your news source evening bulletin for tonight. I'm Gordon Mosley reporting.